Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we will see the SimLab tool in Tinkercad. As always, to start let's create our 3D project. So click Create 3D Design. And here we are in the interface. Let's change the name to SimLab Video and move on. To access the SimLab, it's very easy. Just click on the apple in the top right. And here we are in the interface. Here, on the down right, we can see the three types of movement that we can apply to our object to make it move. First of all, we have the axle connector, then the slider connector, and to finish, the pivot connector. But let's start by building some object to test all this movement on. So we go back to 3D design and we start modeling. Let's start with uh, um, the axle movement and we will have a cone with a simple cube on top. So let's bring it together. Let's make it higher, select both and align them. We take the pyramid as, as the principal object and align it with our cube. To make you see better the action, I will move a little bit higher the cube, like this. For ease of use, let's make it a little bit bigger, maybe uh, 25 and 30, and we're good. Let's move on to the other object that will demonstrate the pivot action. So let's build a simple cylinder. Make it a little bit higher, maybe 40. Then another one. Let's make it a little bit shorter. We align them like this. And then like the cube over here, we just move it a little bit further and here we have our second object we can change the color to make it a little bit uh, different so let's make this purple this blue and then the other object now this is the most difficult object we will see because it demonstrates the um, slider action. So let's dive into it. First of all, we take a cube and make it a little bit higher and we duplicate it. Let's move this here. Then we select both and align them to here, like this. Then we take a cylinder, we place it here we make it longer, maybe a little bit thinner by holding shift uh, even more. Then we align it with the first cube, we make it longer and here we have the base of our object. Now let's add the, the moving part, in this case a hoop, we take it, we move it 90 degrees and by selecting the axle and the ring we align them, we select the cylinder as the main structure, then we align like this the ring. Now let's make this green and see how the movement can be applied to our object. So let's go in the sim lab and start with the simple rotation. Here we have our two shapes and we will use the axle connector to make one the pivot and one the moving object. To do this let's select the axle connector, let's place it here and align it with one of our objects. So, 
like this. Now we can see that there is a blue part and an orange part. The blue part is the one that needs to be linked with the pivot object and the orange part the one that will be attached to the rotating object like this and like this. Now that we have done this, if we want to make the pivot object stationary, we want to select it and click make static like this. Now let's move on with the pivot connector that we will has the axle connector position here and then by selecting it with one of our objects align like this. Once again let's repeat our process so the blue part goes to the moving object in this case and the orange part to the pivot object. Now let's select this and make it static as this. Now let's move on to the last of our object, the ring on the rail and let's select our slider connector. So we position it here, we rotate it by 90 degrees to stay in the slider direction and then by selecting the cylinder and the slider we align them. We select the cylinder as the main object and then we move it to the center. Now as before we take the blue part and place it on the pivot object and we take the orange part and place it over the moving gadget, in this case the ring. Now let's make our cylinder static and our two base cube also static. Now let's go into the simulation. To do this we just need to select an object that we want to throw at our model and click on the play button on the down left, like this. Now with a left click we will throw our object, making our model move like this for the rotation, like this for the pivot and like this for the sliding. This is not all for the SimLab, so let's reset our simulation and modify further our object. We can also modify in the SimLab the properties of our object by changing the material of them. This because uh, different material allow for different responses to our stimulation. For example, if we make our two cubes here bouncy rubber, we will see that our restitution will be much higher, making the re effectively bounce over the cube, like this. As you can see, the ring bounces. We click reset again, and we can further modify it, for example, by making the slider point of the cylinder highs to give it less friction, and we will see that this makes the ring even um, faster. As you can see, any time we throw something, it's changed. This because I have all the objects selected, but if we want only the um, strongest force applied, we can select, for example, only the anvil and start throwing it at our object. This remains the same for um, the other object we created that can all be modified in the same way by changing the material, for example, to concrete making it much, much heavier and so more difficult to move. Or for example, by changing it to polyester, making it a middle ground between the two kind of material to give it, to give it a much softer bounce, as you can see. For this tutorial over the SimLab in Tinkercad, that's all. For more video like this, follow JBDTube.